Veronica. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna quit my job. <gasps> so, four weeks ago, I handed in my resignation letter to my full-time day job in marketing to go all in with trading. Let's rewind. Now it is currently the 7th of September where I'm gonna really write this out now and uh, get ready to hand it in. Hey guys, so today is Monday 7th of September. It's around like 8.30 p.m. and in this letter is my resignation letter to my boss telling him that I'm giving him my notice. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I have like a shoot in the morning I'm heading off to like Coventry so I'm gonna have time in the morning on the train journey um, to sort of hand it in. So do, do, I guess the question is if you want to continue doing it full time we can put you down to part time work if you want. Like I said it, we can reduce the hours if you want there's also but I mean, at the same time we could tap into what you you know your skills when it comes to like there's still a lot. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday the 9th of September around 11.30am and just wanted to quickly check in with you guys because I yesterday I handed in my notice. I have a one month notice so I'll completely be finished work like early October. Um, I'm a little bit ill as well um, from that shoot. But yeah, I've handed it in and my boss has accepted my resignation letter. How do I feel? Um, I feel, I feel okay, I feel normal. Um, this just seems like the right move, the right step. Again, like just things weren't... So tomorrow is the day. Um, today is currently Sunday the 4th of October. Um, so I thought I'd actually just document how I've been feeling and actually take you through some reflections and reasons why I went and actually decided to quit my job. Hopefully this will be relatable to any of you who might be going through something similar thinking about quitting their job to go all in with trading. So it starts with coronavirus period lockdown around March where I was furloughed and that was really a blessing in disguise because that whole furlough period allowed me to actually face things that I might have been pushing away and I know I might have touched upon this in my video about why I left my old trading community. Um, it'll be up here somewhere, you can check that out after this video. So trading was one of the things that I was thinking of and then obviously my role in this company that I was working for. It was a start company, we were such a small team. It got to the point where I was at a crossroad and I had to decide if I really want to go all in or if I wanted to actually continue and try make it work and still make skills and learn skills from that job because you know I was actually learning a lot of different skills which I'll touch upon later on. And during this period, I was praying and I just kept asking for signs like, which road should I take? You know, do I do I go this road or do I go that road? And it's again, it's these one of these things that you never really know you're ready until you're actually there. Like you can prepare yourself and you might wanna be like, okay, yeah, I do wanna go full-time trading one day. But when it comes to that period, it's actually pretty um, hard to actually make that decision, especially if you like your job. So that's the hard thing with me is that I actually genuinely liked what I was doing, day-to-day -day tasks, because um, that didn't feel like work. I understood if you hated your job, it would be very like a lot easier to actually be like, F that, I'm gonna go all in on something that I love, which is like trading. But for me, I love both and I did find some kind of fulfillment in what I was doing and working in a team, which is something that you don't do when you're sort of trading because it's very, you're very alone and it, it is a lonely road but when you are in a team it's quite nice to win together and learn new things and grow and that was really how I felt at the start of my uh, chapter when I was um, working full-time in London but it things just started to change during furlough period the divide became a lot clearer as things were going well in trading and with Hannah Forex and other projects and then things just were kind of deteriorating at work where my values just weren't aligning anymore and that's when I felt like my prayers were being answered because there was becoming that clear divide of which like all the signs were just so starting to point towards which path I should take and the moment that things just weren't aligning with my values and that's when I knew that okay my time here is done but I'm 
going to decide to take the other path. During this period, what kept running through my mind is that if you risk nothing, you risk everything. And the other one was, it's either one day or day one. Um, so that's why I quit. That was my thought process and that's the storyline. So I just wanted to quickly reflect on what I enjoyed about my job. So essentially I was a digital marketing executive for a small startup uh, marketing agency. And I think what I'm super grateful for, what I'm super blessed and what I'm really gonna take away is number one, at the time that I was joining, this was a time where I felt really sort of alone and like didn't, I feel like I was just deteriorating and stagnating because at this period I had been trading full time for about six months and I was, this was at the period where I was, um, I wasn't, I was still trying to achieve consistency and I wasn't trading a six figure funded account. So at this time it allowed me to really actually just use my communication skills, use my voice box and actually talk to people, communicate with people, be in a team. Um, and that's again something that it's it's hard to get that when you're trading alone just in your room and that was me literally 24 7 in my room didn't go out and I got really bad social anxiety not being able to talk to people forgetting how to even say hi um, so I was really grateful at this period you know I'd come in I'd actually go out and get fresh air I'd say hi to people um, and be out and about and just be social so yeah, working nine to five really pushed me out of my comfort zone to be able to manage others, manage a team, communicate effectively, and uh, yeah, just work together with other people. And it really did actually sort of boost my self-confidence and my self-esteem. This is just something that's not really spoken about in trading, the effects of if you're always just in your room trading and being alone. The more important thing is to have that fulfilling balance between work and life and trading. And quickly moving on to maybe the bad parts of work was that it was very creatively, mentally, emotionally draining, especially with the type of work that I had to do for campaigns and clients and creating content and strategizing. Um, by the end of it, I was pretty much dead. Like I couldn't, like I struggled to put more focus into like Hannah Forex, creating content for you guys, um, watching other content, etc., etc. So that was a balance that I kind of had to keep dealing with and there was the ebbs and flows with it. And uh, I think I did pretty well with managing my focus and managing my time. But now that things are just start, starting to like, the cons are outweighing the pros, it just makes a lot more sense now to put more of my mental focus and energy on things that are actually moving the needle in my life and where my purpose, I think, ultimately lies. And like, to be fair, at the end of the day, I knew that my true fulfillment wasn't going to be working at this marketing agency like super long term. I knew at the time that I was joining and like working that it's just gonna be a stepping stone to a next step. Now that I've evolved and grown, I just need to go all in and prioritize uh, what really matters here now. So that's pretty much it. I quit my job in marketing to go all in with trading and uh, creating content for you guys. I know this channel isn't all Lambos, Rolexes, or you know, how to make seven figures in seven days, but you know, this is this is real stuff and hopefully you guys could also relate to it. Those who have jobs, those who are beginning to trade, hopefully you guys can take something away, something valuable and don't feel so alone in the process. Cause again, this is real insight to gradual changes that we go through as we sort of level up. Anyway, if you like this video, then uh, feel free to subscribe and check out this FTMO playlist that I've got. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Veronica? Hi. I'm gonna quit my job. <gasps> when? Tuesday. <gasps> After the shoot? I don't know. <laughs>